Hello friends, I am B.S. Adish Navanidhan of class 11. Today, I am going to talk about emergence of Gandhi. These are the topics in which I am going to talk. First, we are going to see a short intro about Gandhi. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born on 2nd October 9, 1869 and died on 30 January 1948. Mostly venerated as Mahatma, was an Indian lawyer, anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist who employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule and in turn inspired a movement for civil rights and freedom across the world. The honor Graphic title Mahatma first applied to him in 1914 in South Africa is now used throughout the world. Dundee Salt Wars in 1930 and in calling for the British to quit India in 1942. He was immunized many times and for the many years in both South Africa and India. Gandhi's vision of independent India based on religious pluralism was challenged in the early 1940s by a new Muslim nationalism which demanded a separate Muslim homeland carved out of India. In, 19, in August 1947, Britain granted independence, but the British Indian Empire was partitioned into two domains, the Hindu majority India and the Muslim majority Pakistan. Gandhi's birthday, 2nd October, is commemorated in India as Gandhi Jayanti, a national holiday, and the worldwide as the International Day of Nonviolence. Gandhi is commonly thought, though not far, formally considered the father of the nation in India and was commonly called Babu. Next is Biography. Karamchand married four times. His first two wives died in after each had given birth to a daughter, and his third marriage was childless. In 1857, Karamchand sought his third wife's permission to remarry. That year, he married Putlibar, 1844 to 1891. Putli boy had three children over the ensuing decades. A son, Lakshmi Das, a daughter, Ralita Bing, and another son, Karamchand Das. Gandhi's father, Karamchand, was Hindu and his mother, Putli Bai, was from a Brahmin Hindu family. At age 9, Gandhi entered the local school in Rajkot near his home. In 1883, the 13-year-old Mohandas was married to 14-year-old Kasturi Bai. Mo Mohandas described with regret the lustful feelings he felt for his young bridge. In late 1885, Gandhi's father, Karanchan, died. In November 1887, the 18 year old Gandhi graduated from high school in Ahmedabad. In January 1888, he enrolled at Samaldas College in Baganavar State, then the sole degree granting institution of higher education in the region, but he dropped out and returned to his family in Porbandar. Next is three years in London. Gandhi came from a poor family and he had dropped out of the cheapest college he could offer his family that he should consider the last studies in London. In July 1888, his wife Kasturi gave birth to their first surviving son, Hari Lal. To pursue his wife and mother, Gandhi made a vow, a vow in front of his mother that he would abstain from meat, alcohol, and women. Gandhi's brother Lakshmi Das 
who was already a lawyer, cheered Gandhi's London studies plan and offered to support him. Putli Bhai gave Gandhi her permission and blessing. Gandhi attended University College London, a constituent college of University of London. He studied law and was invited to enroll at Inner Temple with the intention of becoming a barrister. Gandhi's time in London was influenced by the vow he had made his mother. He tried to adopt English costumes including taking dancing lessons. However, he did not appreciate the bland vegetarian food offered by his landlady and was frequently hungry until he found one of London's few vegetarian restaurants. Influenced by Henry Saul's writing, he joined the London Vegetarian Society and was selected to its executive committee under the aegis of his president and benefactor Arnold Hills. An achievement while on that committee was the establishment of Bayswater chapter. Some of the vegetarians he met were members of the Theosophical Society which had been founded in 1875 to further universal brotherhood and which was devoted to the study of Buddhist and Hindu literature. They encouraged Gandhi to join them in reading the Bhagavad Gita both in translation as well as in the original. Gandhi had a friendly and productive relationship with Hills, but the two men took a different view on the continued LVS membership of fellow committee members Thomas Linson. Their disagreement is the first known example of Gandhi's challenging authority. Despite his shyness and, temper and temperamental uh, disclination towards confrontation. Gandhi at age 22 was called to the bar in June 1891 and then left London for India, where he learned that his mother had died. While he was in London and that his family had kept the news for him. Next is Civil Rights Activist in South Africa, 1893-1914. In April 1893, Gandhi, aged 23, set sail for South Africa to be the lawyer for Abdullah Hassan Kassin. He spent 21 years in South Africa where he developed his political views, ethics and politics. Then, upon arriving in South Africa, Gandhi faced discrimination because of his skin color and heritage, like all people of color. He was not allowed to sit with European passengers in the stagecoach and told to sit on the floor near the driver. Then beaten when he refused. Elsewhere, he was kicked into a cutter from daring to walk near the house in another intense throne of a train. According to Herman, he thought of himself as a Briton first and an Indian second. However, the prejudice against him and his fellow Indians uh, from British people that Gandhi experienced and observed deeply bothered him. He found it humiliating, struggling to understand how some people can feel honor or superiority or pleasure in such inhumane. The Abdullah case that had brought him to South Africa concluded in May 1894 and the Indian committee organized a farewell party for Gandhi as he prepared to return to India. In 1894, and thought his organization in 1894, and through his organization, he molded the Indian committee of South Africa into a unified political force. According to Arthur Herman Gandhi, he wanted to disprove the 
imperial, imperial British stero, stereotype that Hindus were not fit for ma manly activities involving danger and uh, extrusion unlike the Muslim martial races. In 1906, the Transvasal government promulgated a new act compiling registration of the colonies Indians and the Chinese population at a mass protest meeting held in John Sandberg on 11 September that year. Gandhi adopted his still evolving methodology of Satyagraha devoting to the truth or non-violent protest for the time for the first time. While in South Africa, Gandhi focused on drastical persuasion of Indians but he ignored those of Africans. During a speech in September 1896, Gandhi complained that the whites in the British colony colony of South Africa were degrading India. Hindus and Muslims to a level of calf pit. Years later, Gandhi and his colleagues served and helped Africans as dancers and by opposing uh, racism, according to the Nobel Peace Prize winner Nelson Mandela. In 1906, when the British declared war against the Zulu Kingdom in Natal, Gandhi at age 36, Sintami faced with the Zulus and encouraged the Indian volunteer to help as an ambulance unit. In 1906, Gandhi established with the help of his friend Herman an idealistic com community they named Tolstoy Farm near Johannesburg. There he nurtured his policy of peaceful resistance. In the years after black South Africans gained their rights to vote in South Africa in 1994, Gandhi was proclaimed a national hero with numerous mo monuments. Next is Struggle for Indian Independence 1915-1947. At the request of Gopal Krishna Gokhale, conveyed to him by C.F. Handrips, Gandhi returned to India in 1915. He brought an international reputation as a leading Indian nationalist through nationalist theorist and community organizer. Gandhi joined the Indian National Congress and was introduced to Indian issues, politics, and the Indian people primarily by Gokhale. Gokhale was a key leader of the Congress party best known for his restraint and moderation and his insistence on working inside the system. Gandhi took Gokhale liberal approach based on British biggest traditions and transformed it to make it look Indian. Gandhi took leadership of the National Congress in 1920 and began escalating demand central fund. 26 January 1930, the Indian National Congress declared the independence of India. Meanwhile, the Muslim League did cooperate with Britain and moved against the strong opposition to demands for a totally separate Muslim state of Pakistan. In August 1947, the British partitioned the land with India and Pakistan, each achieving independence on terms that Gandhi disapproved. Next is role of Gandhi in World War I. In April 1918, during the latter part of World War I, the Viceroy invited Gandhi to a war conference in Delhi. Gandhi agreed to actively recruit Indians for the war effort. He did, however, stipulate in a letter to the Viceroy's private secretary that he personally will not kill or injure anybody, friend or foe. Gandhi's war recruitment campaign brought into question as constituency on non-violence. Gandhi's private secretary noted that the question of the constituency between his creed of Ahimsa non-violence 
and his recruiting campaign was raised not only then but has been discussed ever since. Next is Champron Agitations. Gandhi's first major achievement came in 1917 with the Champron Agitation in Bihar. The Champron Agitation pitted the local peasantry against their largely British landlords who were backed by the local administration. The peasantry was forced to grow indigo fera, a cash crop for the indigo dye. This demand has been declining over two decades and were forced to sell their crops to the planters at the fixed price. Unhappy with this, the peasantry applied to Gandhi at his ashram in Ahmedabad, pursuing a strategy of non-violent protest. Gandhi took the administration by surprise and won concessions for the authorities. Next is the Keda agitations. In 1918, Keda was hit by floods and famine, and the peasantry was demanding relief from taxes. Gandhi moved his headquarters to Natid, organizing forces of supporters and fresh volunteers from the region, the most notable being Vallabhai Patel. Using non cooperation as a technique, Gandhi initiated a signature campaign where peasants pledged non payment of revenue even under the threat of confiscation of land. A social boycott of Mamlatars and Talaktars, revenue officials within the district accompanied the agitation. Gandhi worked hard to win public support for the agitation across the country. For five months, the administration refused, but finally in end May 1918, the government gave way on important provisions and relaxed the conditions of payment of revenue tax until the famine ended. In Kerala, Vallabhai Patel represented the farmers in negotiations with the British, who suspended revenue collection and released all the prisoners. Next is the Khilafat movement. In 1919, following World War I, Gandhi, aged 49, sought political cooperation for, from Muslims in this fight against British imperialism by supporting the Ottoman Empire that had been defeated in the World War. Before the Intimate of Gandhi. Communal disputes and religious riots between Hindus and Muslims were common in British India, such as the riots of 1917 to 1918. Gandhi had already supported the British throne with resources and by recruiting Indian soldiers to fight the world, the war in Europe on the British side. This effort of Gandhi was in part motivated by the British promise to reciprocate the help to its Swaraj, self government to Indians after the end of World War I. The British government, in aid of self government, had offered minor reforms instead of disappointing Gandhi. Gandhi announced his Satyagraha civil disobedience intention. The British colonial officials made their counter move by passing the roulette time to block Gandhi's movement. Gandhi felt that Hindu Muslim cooperation was necessary for political progress against the British. He liberated the Khilafat movement, wherein, Sun, wherein Sunni Muslims in India, their leaders such as the Sultans of princely state in India and Ali brothers championed the Turkish Caliph as a solidarity symbol of Sunni uh, Lismi community. Gandhi's support to the Khilafat movement led to mixed results. It initially led to a strong Muslim support for Gandhi. However, the Hindus leaders, including 
Rabindranath Tagore questioned Gandhi's leadership because they were largely against recognizing or supporting the Sunni Islamic Khilaf in Turkey. His support for the Khilafat movement also helped him sideline Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who had announced his opposition to the Satyagraha non cooperation movement approach of Gandhi. By the end of 1922, the Khilafat movement had collapsed. Turkish uh, Atar has entered the Caliphate. Khilafat movement ended and Muslim support for Gandhi largely evaporated. Muslim leaders and their delegates uh, abandoned, abandoned Gandhi and his comrades. Hindu-Muslim communal conflict originated. Next is non-cooperation. With this book, Hind Swaraj, 1909, Gandhi, aged 40, declared that British rule was established in India with the cooperation of Indians and had survived only because of this cooperation. Gandhi with Dr. Annai Besant and here to a meeting in Madras on September 21. Earlier in Madurai on 21 September 1921, Gandhi had adopted the loin cloth for the first time as a symbol of his identification with Indians who were. In February 1919, Gandhi cautioned the Viceroy of India with the cable communication that if the British were to pass the rowlet that he would appeal to Indian to start civil disobedience. The Satyagraha civil disobedient followed with the people also willing to protest the rowlet act. On 30 March 1919, British law officers opened a fire on assembly of unarmed people peacefully gathered, participating in Satyagraha in Delhi. People rioted in retaliation on 6 April 1919. A Hindu festival day, he asked a ground to remember not to injure or kill British people but to express their frustration with peace to boycott British goods and burn and any British cloth thing they offered. On 13th April 1919, people including women with children gathered in the Amritsar Park and the British offered in and the British officer named uh, Reginald Dyer survey surrounded them and ordered his troops to fire on them. The resulting Jordan Malaba massacre or Amritsar massacre of hundreds of Sikh and Hindu civilians uh, inaugurated the subcontinent but was cheered by some some Britons and parts of the British media as an appropriate response. Gandhi Ahmedabad on the day after the massacre in Amritsar did not criticize the British and instead criticized his fellow countrymen for the for not exclusively using love to deal with the hate of the hate of the British government. The massacre and Gandhi's nonviolent response to it moved many but also made some Sikhs and Hindus upset that the year was getting away with murder. Investigation coming, coming, committees was formed by the British which Gandhi asked Indians to boycott. The unfolding events that massacre and the British response led Gandhi to the belief that Indians will never get a fair equal treatments under British rulers and that he shifted his attention to Swaraj was central and political independence for India. Gandhi had the political support and the attention of the British age. The appeal of non-cooperation grew, its social popularity drew participation from all the satra of Indian society. Gandhi was arrested on 10th March 1922, tried for seditation and is sent 
sentenced to six years imprisonment. He began his sentence on 18 March 1922 with Gandhi isolated in prison. The Indian National Congress split into two factions, one led by Chita Ranjan Das and Motilal Nehru, favoring party participation in the legislature and the other led by Chaudhary Raj Gopalachari and Sardar Vallabhai Patel opposing this move. Next is Salt Satyagraha. Salt. After his yearly release from prison for political for political crimes in 1924, over the second half of the 1920s, Gandhi continued to pursue Swaraj. He pushed through a resolution at the Calcutta Congress in December 1928 calling on the British government to grant Indian dom dominant state statutes or face a new campaign of non-cooperation with complete independence for the country as its goal. After the support for the World War I with Indian combat troops and the failure of Khilaf movement in, preser in preserving the rule of Caliph in Turkey, followed by a collapse in Muslim support for the leadership some such as Subhash Chandra Bose and Bhagat <coughs> British political leaders such as Lord Cuckrinkhead and Williamson Churchill announced opposition to the appears of Gandhi in the discussions with European diplomats who, who sympathized with Indian Demands. On 31st December 1929, the flag of India was unplugged in Lahore. Gandhi led Congress in a celebration on 26 January 1930 of India's Independence Day in Lahore. This day was commemorated by almost every other Indian organization. Gandhi then launched a new Satyagraha against the attacks on salt in March 1930. The salt march to Dandi from 12th March on to 6th April, where together with 78 volunteers, he marched 388 kilometers, 241 miles, from Ahmedabad to Dandi, Gujarat, to make salt himself, with the declared intention of breaking the salt law. The march took 25 days to cover 240 miles, with Gandhi speaking to often huge crowds along the way. Thousands of Indians joined him in Dandi. On 5th May, he was interred under a regulation dating from 1827 in artificiation of protest that he had planned the protest at Darshana Salt Workers on 21st May went ahead without him. Gandhi men drew up and hated a hundred yards from the Scott Gate. A big column advanced from the crowd guarded the ditches and approached the guarded wires stop. This campaign was one of his most successful at upstepping British hold on India. Britain responded by imprisoning over 60,000 people. Congress estimates, however, put the figure at 90,000. Among them was one of Gandhi's lecture, Jawaharlal Nehru. Gandhi recruited women to participate in the salt tax campaign and boycott the of foreign products, which gave Many women had new self-confidence and dignity in the mainstream of India public life. However, other scholars such as Berlin French state that Gandhi buried women from joining his civil disobedience movement because he feared he would be 
uh, accused of using women as a political shield. shield. Gandhi's apprehensions and views India Indian women joined the salt march by the thousands to defy the British salt taxes and a monopoly on salt mining. After Gandhi's service, the women marched and picketed shops on their own, accepting violence and verbal abuse from British authorities from the case from the cause in the manner Gandhi inspired. Next is Gandhi as a folk hero. In 1920s, appealed to Andhra Pradesh peasants by creating Telugu language plays that combined Indian mythology and legends, linked them to Gandhi's idea and portrayed Gandhi as a mace, as a mesa, a reincarnation of an ancient and and medieval Indian nationalist leaders and saints. This play will support among uh, peasants stepped in traditional Hindu center in Hindu culture. According to Murali and his effort made Gandhi a folk hero in Telugu speaking villages, a scarred, messy like figure. Dennis Dalton, it was the idea that were responsible for his wide following. Gandhi criticized the Western civilization as one derived as one driven by brute force and immorality, immorality, constructing it with his categorization of Indian civilization as one driven by soul force and mortality. He, uh, he used uh, terminology and phrases such as Rama Rajya from Ramayana, uh, pra, Pralda as problematic ions and such culture symbols as another phase of Swaraj and Satyagraha. Next is Roundtable Conference. The second Roundtable Conference was the only time he felt he left India between he left India between 1914 and his death in 1948. He declined the government's offer of accommodation in an expensive West End hotel, uh, preferring to stay in the East End to live to live among working class people as he stayed in India. He based himself in a small cell bedroom and kings play hall for the three month duration of his stay and was ethic and was ethically received by East Enders during this time he renewed his links with the British vegetarian movements. After Gandhi returned from the second round table conference, he started a new circuit. He was arrested and imprisoned at the Yerwada jail Pune. While he was in prison, the British government enacted a new law that granted untouchables a separate electorate. It came to be known as Communal Awards. In protest, Gandhi started a fast hunt to death while he was held in prison. The resulting public outcry forced the government in uh, in consultations with, Ab with Ambedkar to replace the communal award with the compromise Puna Pact. Next is Congress politics. Gandhi returned to active politics again in 1936 with the Nehru presidency as the Lucknow session of the Congress. Although Gandhi wanted a total focus on the task of winning independence and not speculations about India's future. He did not he did not restrain the Congress from adopting socialism as its goal. Gandhi had a clash with Subhash Chandra Bose, who had been elected president in 1938 and who had previously expressed a lack of faith in non-violence as a means of 
protest. Despite Gandhi's opposition, Bose won a second term as Congress president against Gandhi's nominee, Dr. Patabi, uh, Dr. Patabai Bhatti left the Congress when the All India leaders resigned a yen massive in protest of his condemnment of the principles introduced by Gandhi. Gandhi declared that Sitaramya's defeat was his defeat. Next is World War II and the Quit India Movement. Gandhi opposed providing any help to British war effort and he campaigned against any Indian participation in World War II. Gandhi campaign did not enjoy the support of Indian masses as many Indian leaders such as Sardar Patel and Rajendra Prasad, his campaign was failure. Over 2.5 million Indians, including Gandhi, volunteered and joined the British military to fight on various fronts of the Allied forces. As the war progressed, Gandhi intensified his demand for the independence calling for the British to quit India in 1942 speech in Mumbai. This was Gandhi's year, Gandhi's and the Congress party most, de, most definitive revolt aimed at securing the British exit from India. The British government responded quite quickly to the Quit India speech and within hours after Gandhi's speech arrested Gandhi and all the members of the Congress Working Committee, his countrymen uh, mutilated the arrest by the <coughs> damaging or burning down hundreds of government owned railway stations, police stations and cutting down uh, telegraph wires. In 1942, Gandhi now nearing age 73 urged his people to completely stop cooperating with the imperial government. In this effort, he urged that they neither kill or injure British people but be willing to suffer and die with violence is initiated by the British officials. He clarified that the movement would not be stopped because of any individual acts of violence, saying that the ordered and cry of the present system of administration was worse than real anarchy. He urged Indians to carry out Moro, two war died in the case of the of their rights and the freedom. Gandhi arrest lasted two years as he was held in the Agra Khan Palace in Pune. During this period, his longtime secretary Mahadev Desai died of a heart attack. His wife Kasturi Bai died at 18 months. In on 22 February 1944, and Gandhi suffered a severe malaria attack. While in jail, he agreed to an interview with uh, Sutrat Gelda, a British journalist, leader, then composed and released an interview summary, cabled it to the mainstream press. And then that announced sudden uh, concessions Gandhi was willing to make comments that shocked his countrymen, the Congress worker and even Gandhi. The latter two claimed that it distracted what Gandhi had actually said on a range of topics and falsely replicated the Quit India movement. Gandhi was released before the <coughs> end of the war on 6th May 1944 because of his failing health and necessary surgery. The Raj did not want him to die in prison and, and enlarged the nation. He came out to detention to an, uh, to an altered political sense, the Muslim League for example, which, uh, which a few years earlier had appeared Magaral now occupied the center of the political stage. 
and the topic of Muhammad Ali Jinnah's campaign for Pakistan was a major talking point. Gandhi and Jinnah had extensive correspondence and the two men met several times over a period of two weeks in September 1944, where Gandhi insisted on a united religiously ruler and independent India, which included Muslim and non-Muslim of the of the Indian subcontinent coexisting. Jinnah rejected this proposal and, and insisted and he insisted for participating the subcontinent on religious lines to create a separate Muslim India, later Pakistan. This discussions continued through 1947, when the leaders of Congress landed in jail, the other party supported the war and gained organizational strength. Unground publications failed, failed at the ruthless suppressions of Congress, but it had little control over events. At the end of the war, the British gave clear indications that power would be transferred to Indian hands. At this point, Gandhi called off the struggle, and around one lakh political prisoners were released, including Congress leadership. Next is participation and the independence. Gandhi opposed the part of the national subcontinent along the religious lines. The Indian National Congress and Gandhi called for the British to quit India. However, the Muslim League demanded uh, divide and quit India. Gandhi has suggested an agreement with which uh, required the Congress and the Muslim League to cooperate and attain independence under a provisional government. Thereafter, the question of participation could be resolved by a placid in the district with a Muslim majority. Jinnah rejected Gandhi's proposal and called for the direct action day on 16 August 1946 to press Muslim to publicly gather in cities and support his proposal for the partisan for, for, for the partition of the Indian subcontinent into a Muslim state and a non-Muslim state. Hussein uh, Shahid, uh, the Muslim League Chief Minister of Bengal, now Bangladesh and West Bengal, gave Calcutta's police special holiday to celebrate the Direct Action Day. The Direct Action Day triggered a mass murder of Calcutta Hindus and the torching of their uh, prop, um, property and for under holiday police were missing to contain or stop the conflict. The British government did not order its army to move in to contain the violence. The violence on direct action day led to the retaliatory violence against Muslim across India. Thousands of Hindus and Muslims were murdered and tens of hundreds or tens of thousands were injured in the cycle of violence in the days that followed. Gandhi visited the most uh, riot town areas to appeal a step uh, to appeal a stop to the massacre. Wave Wall, the Visay and the Governor General of British India for three years through uh, February 1947 had worked with Gandhi and China to find a common ground before and after accepting Indian independence in principle. Wave Wall uh, condemned on this character and, and motives as well as it is. Wave Wall accused Gandhi for uh, harboring the single-minded idea to overthrow British rule and influence and to establish a Hindu Raj and called Gandhi a yeah, malignant uh, male one. 
uh, exceedingly uh, sharp politician. They were feared the civil war on the Indian subcontinent and uh, and doubted Gandhi would be able to stop it. The British uh, definitely agreed, agreed to grant independence to the people of the Indian subcontinent but accepted its you know, proposal of participation in the land into part, for, participate, for partitioning the land into Pakistan and India. Gandhi was involved in the final negotiations but Stanley states the plan to call a British India was never approved or accepted by Gandhi. The partition was controversial and violently disputed. More than half a million were killed in the religious year, just 10 million to 12 million non-Muslims, Hindus and Sikhs mostly migrated from Pakistan to India. And Muslims migrated from India to Pakistan across the newly created borders of India, West Pakistan and East Pakistan. Gandhi spent the day of the independence not celebrating the end of British rule, but appealing for peace among his countrymen by fasting and his training in Calcutta on 15th August 1947. The participation had spread to the Indian subcontinent with religious violence and the streets were killed with corpses. Some writers uh, credit Gandhi's fasting and protests for stopping the religious riots and the commercial violence. Thanks for watching uh, and wish and wishing you all happy independence day.